Hello, my name is Almir. Today's talk is about DynamoDB series, things you will not learn in regular courses and tutorials. I wanted to talk about things that are not mentioned in any tutorials, but when you start developing and using DynamoDB, you're going to encounter these scenarios and you will need to find solutions for them. One of those scenarios is case sensitivity of values and how your data will be searched in DynamoDB queries. But before I get to this point, I wanted to make two important points about NoSQL in general and DynamoDB. Instead of thinking how data should be stored, you really need to be thinking how the data will be searched. That's what you have to do from day one when you're designing your table. That's how you determine your hash key or partition key. That's how you determine your sort key or range key for your DynamoDB table. So think about this one, and now I'm going to get into the case sensitivity of values. Let me show you an example. I'm going to open a JSON file here. This is one of the items in a customer's DynamoDB table that I created for this demo. This uh, item contains a customer ID, which happens to be the hash key on this table. It has the title, first name, last name, email, and the other, like for example, the address, JSON map, the phone number, create date and update, which date, which are the standard in this table for every item. So customer ID is the hash key. And you have this first name field and as you can see, it's there as the customer typed it in. First letter is capitalized, and the last name, first letter is capitalized. So if you have it like this, and then let's say an agent uses uh, a customer service tool to search on the customer, and if they don't type, the, the name, the, the actual first name field, the way it is saved in database, it's not going to find it. For example, if, if an agent types Almir all in lowercase, all, all in uppercase, if you search on this table in DynamoDB, it's not going to find that record. So how do you get around that? My recommendation is that you create a searchable first name field. Yes, it is redundant, redundant information, but when it comes to NoSQL, you should not worry about redundancy. Obviously, you need to control your redundancy, but at some point, you, it's, it's OK to have a little bit of redundancy. So when your application is saving data into DynamoDB, you should also be converting everything in lowercase for your first name and saving it into searchable first name field. The same applies for your last name. The uppercase here, first letter, but if, if I save it into a searchable last name field, I'm going to lowercase all of this. So how is this going to help you? This main Dynamo table is the customer's table that has the hash key of customer ID. I would create a global secondary index, the GSI on this table, and the hash key in that table would be searchable last name. Maybe the sort of range key, sort of range key would be on the, for example, on the create date field in that GSI. So what what can you do now with the GSI? I can do queries on the GSI where I can say, give me all the people who whose last name is Mustafik, and you can sort them by the create date, and you can even apply filter expressions, say where the first name is John or the first name is Almir and date of birth is less than or greater than some date. So that's what it will allow you. So let's uh, summarize this again. The fields in your Dynamo table or the values are case sensitive. If you're going to search on the, these values, make sure that you have a little bit of redundancy, introduce other fields that are lowercase or uppercase, depending on what your preference is. And then when you search or use, use queries on your GSI, in this example, you can type it all in lowercase and it would find that record because your 
your hash key on the GSI would be searchable last name. Thank you for watching. This is Almir, and stay tuned for more of the DynamoDB uh, hints and things you will not learn in regular tutorials and courses. Thank you.